for a very good purpose, you are taking the time now to review what you already know about letting go of what you don't want concerning your body and reviewing what you want to keep, reviewing choices you have and what you really, really want. This is an integration meditation of all you have learned in the What Stops You From Having the Body You Want book. You've learned many things about principles of change, actions to take, skills to develop, and mental processes. I'd like you now to get very comfortable in a place that's right for you, in a position that works well for you to relax and let go. And as you relax, I'd like you to notice your breathing right now. And as you breathe all the way in, you then breathe all the way out. And you notice your body becoming more and more relaxed. And any thoughts that you have in your mind, thoughts that aren't necessary now, begin to float up into the air like little bubbles taking a wand and blowing bubbles, letting the bubbles go up with all of your thoughts that aren't necessary now. And I want you to notice the support underneath your hands and arms. And your hands and arms become more heavy, don't they? As you just let go and allow that support to hold your hands and arms. And as you breathe even more deeply now, you notice the support underneath your feet and just let go and it's interesting to notice the support underneath your hips isn't it just letting go and as you do and become more and more relaxed you wonder why you want a body that functions and is healthy and you wonder why you take the time now to discover more about what's already in your mind, to have what you want now. And why it's important to be fit and to let go of weight that's not necessary. That's right. Relaxing more and more as you feel the support between your shoulders. And relaxing your neck. And now I'd like you to focus on your eyes. And letting go of all the little muscles around your eyes. You notice the relaxation spreading from your eyes up over your forehead and down to your chin and out to your ears as though you dropped a pebble in a cool pool of water and you can see the relaxation spread from that center out of the ripple relaxing all the way down your body back over your head down your back as you breathe you breathe out what's not necessary that's right and now you notice a foyer that you are now in. And over to your right, you notice a room. And this room inside of it has everything you know. So many things in this room. Everything you've learned. Every single place you've been and every experience and in the nook and crannies there can be so many interesting things to remember or not 
And this is a symbol of your unconscious mind. All of the experiences of you. And you can be consciously aware of unconscious things when you're ready. And from this foyer, you now look to your left and you see a patio outside. And this represents all the possibilities the possibilities of using the things in the room of your unconscious mind in an organized way to achieve what you really, really want and all the possibilities of the future. That's right. And now what I'd like you to do is walk into the room to your right and just get a sense of who you really are and what's really there and all the thoughts and all the abilities and all the knowledge that you already have deciding what to notice and what you notice first is in the very middle of the room is a table with a jar and you walk over to it and you see a sign that says ask your question And I'd like you to think of a question that you have about your body that you may not know the answer to, or you may know the answer to, you're just not aware yet. And on the pad of paper provided, you write your question now. That's right. And you put your question into the jar. And as you do that, you notice there's light in the jar of energy. And you just drop it in there and let that go now. And you look around with curiosity of how to release the weight that's not necessary. As you notice your motivation and the energy inside you turns up. And I want you to notice now that the floor is vibrating. And that's a metaphorical metabolism. As the floor vibrates, your body responds in a really positive way, turning up the fire inside of you to burn calories that aren't necessary now. And the vibration is in your arms and in the back of your head and in your legs. And you smile, knowing the furnace is turned up ten times more. That's right. And what does it feel like to have the metabolism turned up even ten times more? And in this room and in your unconscious mind and in your memory, conscious and unconscious, you notice what you've learned in the body book about strength and endurance and what you've learned about flexibility and balance and weight and body fat percentage and over there you remember learning about nutrition and internal health and adequate rest You remember learning and understanding more about body image and goal setting and cool tips, so many, of what to do sitting at a desk. You learn so much about food for fuel, eating to live or living to eat. and what eating triggers you may have. And you might wonder, over there you see a garbage can. And when you're ready, at any time you can take whatever you don't need that you're sure of and place it in the garbage can. And you might wonder about eating triggers, what triggers you to eat. You might also wonder about addictions and what you're going to leave here and what you're going to take with you. You learned about cholesterol and metabolism. 
you learned about menopause, internal conflicts, and unconscious thought. You learned about the pyramid of thought and the actions that are possible in the environment and the skills that you can develop and you have and the mental processes of beliefs that are limiting and remember the garbage can and it's a beautiful garbage can but when you place something in it it actually takes that matter and shifts it to be fertilizer somewhere and you learned about identity development and what's important about loving yourself and how And now as you wonder what you really, really want, you're just curious looking around and feeling your metabolism. Turn up now even ten times more and feel that now as you breathe. That's right. And now you walk back to the foyer and you look outside and you see the possibilities And you walk outside and you feel the sun on you. And it's interesting when the sun shines on you. It seems to feel warm and it heats up calories. And isn't it interesting you feel them evaporating from your body. And as the sun shines, evaporation occurs, doesn't it? And the calories come out of your body and they go somewhere more and more more and more and more and in specific spots of your body releasing now evaporating now and more and more and more and even more and ten times more And the ground is vibrating in an excellent way. As you evaporate, all you choose to let go of. That's right. And as you do that, your unconscious mind continues letting go and letting go more and more and more and more. And then your conscious mind looks over and you see something interesting. You see a big screen for a movie. And it's blank. And you walk over and it says, Your future body. And you push the button and on the screen comes a picture of you. And it becomes you as you step back out of yourself and your future self is on the screen. As you step even further back, you see her or him, which is you, on this screen the way you are now. And as you push fast forward just a day, you notice your metabolism even greater, don't you? And then you push fast forward one more time and it goes a week ahead and you see your body within a month ahead just the way you want it to be. And since this is all pretend at this point, you can make your body any way you want it to be. And notice how your body's smaller and smaller until the appropriate and reasonable time your body is just the way you want it and as you see that future self you see yourself just right that's right and you see yourself from the front lifting scooping changing moving creating possibly thinking of a time in the past when you had that body you wanted 
or possibly modeling someone else's body for now and putting it up on the screen with your head on it and seeing that body just right and notice the skin just right and notice the muscles just right and make it even better and you look at the top of the screen and it has a title and it says my body of my dreams <laughs> that's right and you remember why you want this body don't you and as you create and turn yourself to the side you remember why this is important to you so important that at this point you decide how committed you are that you will have that body and how you will do the actions that are appropriate as you turn yourself to the back and notice the back of your future self that's right and notice what you look like And when you look at yourself and turn yourself around in just the right way, the angle you want to see now, to make sure it's just right, you notice the countenance and the energy of yourself. And you notice the metabolism, don't you? And people with high metabolisms sometimes have a hard time holding still. And you see yourself sitting down, maybe tapping your foot just in the right way. Or fidgeting just enough to be appropriate. And isn't it interesting as you see yourself moving in life on that screen, you see yourself standing while on the phone, walking farther than usual from the parking lot. Parking farther away. Skipping up the stairs. Moving more than you did in your past and smiling and enjoying and isn't it interesting to see yourself exercise on that movie screen and isn't it interesting to see the joy of exercise and the rush of the desire to exercise more and more efficiently and in just the right way and feeling the endorphins and the pride you feel from accomplishing that. And notice the next level and the next level of exercise. That's right. And as you look at this future you, you notice the choices you make and the choices you don't make. And right in the middle of seeing your future self, you think of something else you want to run and throw in the garbage. And so you might go over into that other room and put something else in the garbage. And the garbage can is beautiful. It transforms it into something great for the environment. You don't need it. Someone else, something else does. So you come back and you look at the movie screen. And you notice the mental processes that are so important that you already know. Changing beliefs and what limiting beliefs you have or had. And you notice how to change equations, don't you? What does it mean? That's right. And now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to back up. I'd like you to actually just release your feet from the floor and float up into the sky. And you might notice that you feel like a waterfall is over you. And part of your mind is in many places down at level C. And this part of your mind is so light that you actually float way up above the houses and look down 
at many people down there who are just like you. And it's nice to know you're not alone. And it's nice to know that you have choice and you have places to learn and things to accept. And knowing that you've chosen the body you have, it's nice to know you can choose something else or choose the same thing and it's up to you as you look down at the houses. You notice how important choices are as you see the people making choices. And as you see bodies that are fit and beautiful, you notice what choices they make. And as you see people who are sedentary, they choose what they choose. And ultimately, it equates the body you have. And then you float up even higher so that you can almost see the city down there. And what's it like to feel lighter? What's good about that? What's good about being lighter and lighter and lighter and smaller? And isn't it interesting what choices you have as you become lighter and lighter? And then you float up even higher to see maybe the landforms below. As you get closer to the sun that even burns more calories in a great way and just right. As you honor and respect your body, don't you? And the choice of knowing your body is becoming just right so that it can help you in your life for your greater life's purpose as a vehicle to get you where you want to go, where you will go, and the dreams that you have much beyond your dreams about your body and the goals that you have in your life, goals that go much beyond you and maybe to the world, personal and professional goals, God's purposes for you as you get closer to the sun and become lighter in just the right way you say yes this is the way I will be and I can and I will is the sun's purpose and what is your purpose and now with decisions inside of your soul and your heart you flow closer back down to the earth in a gentle and safe way all the way down to level C in this familiar and comfortable place of vibration and choice And as you reach level C, which is so relaxed, you feel so light. And you notice there's more light in the place around you. Because you are full of light now. And you notice the movie screen has come down to your level. And your future self steps off of the screen and comes and looks right at you. And you look at him or her and yourself says to you some advice. In order to be me, this is what you need to do.
and this is what you need to not do. And you notice the garbage can is right next to you. And you notice how very much you're putting in the garbage can. And your future self says to you, these are the skills you already have that I have in the future and I'm you and I just remembered them and there's so many. And these are the skills you need to develop to become me. And then your future self turns around and grabs something. And you notice that they grab a balloon, a helium balloon, and turn around and say, this balloon is a symbol of your addictions. And I want you to hold it. And so you do. You take a hold of this balloon. It's light, wanting to go up. And your future self says, all the addictions you've had up to this point have served you at some level. And when you're ready to let go of that forever, or at some level, maybe eating an addiction food just less, you decide what the appropriate level is, or maybe abstinence is your choice and when you decide what's right for you about that you will let go of the balloon not until you're ready it's nice to know that you are ready sooner than you ever thought possible to let go forever of addictions how you feel empowered even more and your future self smiles and says you are becoming me and turns around and hands you another balloon and says to you this balloon is your limiting beliefs and gives you the balloon and says when you're ready to let go of those beliefs forever then let go your body is yours it's not your mother's it's not your sister's it's not your ancestors it's yours your body to choose with what you do to it for it with it what you partake of and what do you believe that does not serve you and allow it to go up 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 forever that's right as you notice when you're ready many balloons your future self has handed you in many categories go up 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 garbage can becomes more full 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 and you are lighter and lighter and your metabolism is even more and now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take your future self and look at yourself in front of you and when you're ready I'd like you to have them turn around so you're looking at their back and when you're ready step inside of your future self now
And as you breathe that in, you notice what it's like to have this body and notice what you do. And now I would like you to imagine a vacation spot and I'd like you to go there now. Away from this place, somewhere great. Be with someone or not in this vacation spot. And now, as you're there, the sun is helping you integrate all of your learnings, letting go, knowing you have choice, keeping your commitment, keeping self-love, being accountable inside your heart, making decisions, taking care of yourself, having strength more than you ever thought possible, knowing that you are important, you're as an you important person, wings, as you loving press yourself, bands, as you climb more than mountains, you thought possible, as you live. Knowing and your life love works with contraction. In a perfect way when you love yourself. As you work separating each being muscle from doing more and more. Releasing being what you don't need. Is striving from doing. Working and me eating less. Are connected to things that are important. Eating less. Changing meanings. Eating overcoming less, limiting beliefs in a eating powerful small, way. Honoring eating just yourself, right. As God honors eating you. Eating choice. Self care. Is you nice food, food that you have more, new equations that cause you to honor more, yourself, resting who you in the are without a meal. body in your spirit that lives That's on right. and has Focusing always lived. on green leafy vegetables. That's why. Focusing resolving on conflicts inside and knowing what your values are that may be bright purple. And why? Focusing on minerals. Do you want that? Focusing on fruit. It's nice to know that you can Focusing say no. Focusing on seeing foods that are healthy no. for your body. Because you love yourself. Knowing you have choice of what no. to eat. In just the right Every way. Every time. Taking care of the Consciously and unconsciously knowing honoring, what's going in your body. For you fuel. might wonder about service. And isn't it interesting how important that your meal is fuel to serve and others. And seeing your meal with the body as that you fuel. Have. And seeing so that each thing you eat is fuel now, knowing that you're not alone, and having a commitment, that's right, and setting goals and achieving your goals now, that's right. Thinking about nutrition, that's thinking right. About acquiring rest, that's right. Choosing rest, knowing your body fat percentage, that's right. Knowing what your weight is every moment, that's in right. Just the right way. Knowing that you're releasing you the weight you need to release I now am in important. a very profound and accelerated I way. I have control. And I'd like you to release your I weight am ten times more now. I deserve and accelerate my body. the release of weight now I even ten times more. All there is. Feeling your strength. I deserve. Smoothing your skin. This body. Deciding for a very good purpose. Taking action. A very important Knowing purpose. Knowing our food is fuel. That's right. Releasing. Releasing ten times more, through more, and more, and more. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then you remember that you had a question that you placed in the room and you say oh and you take this future body with you and you walk over to the jar living and being inside of this future body and you notice there's an answer to your question as you pull it out of the jar and as you look, it's interesting. 
to know the answer to that question. And you might know the conscious answer. And it might be an unconscious sense of a feeling of knowing. And as you smile and you put it in your pocket, you walk over to the foyer. And something interesting happens. Your future self comes out of you and starts up the escalator. As they go up the escalator, they turn around and look at you and wink and you smile. And they say, we'll see you. that level B is a wonderful place and you feel the energy of level B and you've brought with you just what you want you've brought your metabolism haven't you you brought your energy your enthusiasm your dedication your knowledge and your choice most importantly of all the things you've brought with you you have brought your choice the most powerful thing any person has is choice and as you breathe you step on the next set of escalators and go up to level A all the way up to level A and you can begin to be aware of the sounds in the room or sounds from outside and get a sense of where you really are in the room and what position you're in and your mind starts to wonder about what you're going to do the rest of this day that's right and taking a moment to be at level A start wiggling your toes and wiggling your fingers with that deep smile inside of your bones and you'll wake up with more energy than you've had all day that's right breathing a little bit more being more conscious that you're listening to an audio and you have choice and I want you to pull inside you determination and commitment and joy and joy can be experienced in the present moment and now when you're ready I'd like you to open your eyes ever so gently in the present moment that is now because that's all there really is in the whole world is now right now and you're in this body with the most important thing ever given to man and that is choice and you take that choice with you today and make your decisions that's right that's right and just kind of stretch and wiggle and then get ready to go to your day and I want you to consider that we remember the past we dream of the future and we live today and may you have so much joy today with your choices and enjoy your food and enjoy your life and enjoy your exercise and enjoy your purpose, your passion. Enjoy your life and all of the opportunities you have right now.